All right. So speaking of uh, safety in that, let's move to our next topic, talking about Chicago. Uh, with some of the safety going on yeah, there. Man, uh, I, mean, um, I don't so, know what to say. This is, you know, this is just too much. I mean, we had, uh, honestly, you know, we did those two town halls, right? What was the consensus of all drivers, small city, big city, pro Uber, anti Uber, whatever they were, right? What was the mm-hmm. consensus that we came up with that more has to be done? That was pretty, you know, we couldn't agree on IC status. We couldn't agree on certain things. But if there was one consensus that came out of every driver's mouth is that Uber can do more about driver safety, period, mm-hmm. right? And to me, every single day now, you know, um, like the one on the left here, um, one one of them put a gun against my head. Uber driver uh, recounts terrifying carjacking. There was a uh, Uber each driver got killed um, in Portland um, during a carjacking attempt. Luckily, there is video of it, and these two idiots are going to jail for a long time. Um, there was another shootout. I don't know, know what city it was in, but this time the, the shootout was between the passengers and another car. It looks like a drive-by, and poor Uber driver got shot at multiple times. Hopefully, he, you know, luckily he didn't get killed. The, the passenger mm-hmm. did though, and he was like he ended up crashing his car into some tree or whatever, and I'm like. What the heck is going on? I mean, is it like that the economy, you know, is so bad? Or w- I feel like this types of news is out there more often than I can ever remember. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, right? What w- I mean, this is getting out of control. I mean, why, you know, I understand carjackings always happened, but now it seems like it's happening more with Uber and Lyft drivers or, or gig economy workers than anything else. Mm-hmm. And of course, well, think, and of course, I think it you know. comes down to a couple of things here. First, desperation creates stupidity and exactly. people are going to do stupid things. So, you know, during the pandemic, one of the things is during the pandemic, um, you know, you get people who are desperate. You don't know what's going on. People are locked down, blah, 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 all this. We already know. And people are, you know, they're getting antsy. They're getting stirred. They're, they're not sure what's going on. So it's going to create you know, a lot of issues is going to help uh, trigger mental illness. It's going to do a lot of things there when it comes to it. So, you know, you have stuff like that. Now you have inflation. You know, things yep. are double what they were. Uh, yep. Gas is insane. You know, food costs are insane. Um, everything is just up. So, you know, the biggest problem there is you have, again, now financial troubles, which, you know, can an economic condition can drastically alter a person's well-being financially and um, you know mentally again you know you're, it's it's coming to that trigger so you're you're coupling these two massive events that are happening back to back with each other yeah. and yeah you're going to get people who are desperate doing stupid things trying to do stupid stuff um yeah. you're getting you know the other thing is opportunity so yeah. you see oh Somebody here got a, a you know a carjacking. You know again that that stupid mindset says, "Oh, I can do the same exact thing," or yeah. you know it could be the same group of people or whatever it might be. So there's there's a lot of things there, and then you're getting all of the uh, people that are you know reporting on it too. You're, yeah. you're getting massive amounts of reporting. Plus, we're also in it. Um, you know, we're in the rideshare arena. We know what's going on. We pay attention yeah. to news and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we're going to see stuff probably more so than um, other drivers may, especially if they're not on YouTube, if they're not um, on Reddit or Facebook or anything. So um, they might only see their local area or, you know, nearby if it's if it makes some some big news. Um, So, yeah, I think uh, you're you're just having a a massive uh, issue and influx of, you know, the craziness of what's going on in the world. Coupling that with, you know, mental illness issues, stupid people doing stupid things that should never be doing that in the first place. And then also uh, opportunity. You put that all together. And I think that's part of the reason why it's getting more and more and more. uh, Yeah. I mean, you know, every day you hear something. Yeah, you hit it. You hit the nail on the head. You know, there's copycatting issues where people go, oh, yeah, look at the easy target. Most Mm -hmm. of the time, most of the time, Uber drivers are an easier target. I mean, because guess what? (laughs) 
you can call them to yourself if you're gonna if you i mean seriously mm -hmm. think about it right you can order a ride and call your carjacking victim to you i mean that's yep. fuck, that's messed up bro <laughs> and the, that <laughs> because, was the point that I made in in oh god i think it was at the end of 2020 when everything was starting to really pick up yeah, and vamp up yeah. in chicago they were saying the exact same thing yeah. so easy it's, it's no joke <laughs> And then, yeah. you know, you, you see that second screenshot on the right there, and they're saying yeah. police are making arrests after rideshare drivers block the avenue, North yeah. Avenue, and protest for better living wage and better safety protections. So yeah. um, it, it's all tying together. But, yeah, when it comes down to it, it's like, what but, are they going to do? You know, you and I, we've been with RSG for a long time, right? So um, seriously, I mean, what has been the number one and number two complaint of drivers going back four or five, six years? always been those two living wage yep. better safety and nothing yep. has changed we're at 2022 almost finishing 20 in the middle of 2022 it's still the same complaint so either look either drivers are delusional which i don't believe at all that they are they're saying the same thing they were saying in 2017 2018 still and nothing yep. is being done so nothing safety safe you know well, safety safety i think the, is, the is easier to fix than just, yep, living wage. earnings that's going in more markets. Yeah, that's, so, uh, we're going to talk about that. I want to save all my bullets for that for a whole show. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that'll be next. Uh, yeah, we're going to kind of talk yeah. about that, that all next week. Yeah, but I don't want to I mean, shoot that's... any bullets yet. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.